Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Green Eggs and Ham, Sam I Am. I'm your host Weaver Beats and today I'll be showing you how to make a Sam I Am type beat. Let's get started. Sam I Am is a music producer with a very specific 8-bit hip-hop beat sound to it. So the plan is to break down how he gets his style and then we'll go through and make a beat together. If you guys have wondered why I've been doing these sorts of videos where I break down producer style music and then try to copy it, it's because I figured it would be a great way to level up my own skills, to test them out, and to give myself a little challenge. And I'm sure there could be a way for you guys to do the same as well. Okay, so I think going forward, I'm going to continue to describe people's music and formulas like I did in the last video on how to make a pretty lights type beat. By the way, you should check out, I'm going to link it up here. I actually think it's a rather intelligent and practical way to go about it. Okay, so the formula to make Sam I Am type beats is... Drum roll, please. Alright, that's way too long of a drum roll. Stop the drum roll. So 70 BPM plus a non-diatonic progression plus lots of swing plus video game sounds down to like a simple bass guitar or... um plucky bass. If you're gonna go about this like I did, make sure you listen to a lot of Sam I Am first. Kinda makes no sense to try to copy someone's style if you don't even know what they sound like. Okay, so I actually started with the drums first, and this may seem kinda strange to some of you guys, but I find when I'm trying to get to a certain style, a great way to get yourself to make a specific genre of music is to start with the drums, because it'll lock you into the genre you're going for. If you make a trap drum beat, then you're gonna be based in the realm of trap. There's no way around it. With that being said, I'm going to make a drum beat with a lot of swing, around 70 BPM. It doesn't have to be exactly 70. We're just going for roughly around there. He has very slow beats, so that's, that's what we're trying to do. So pick a, a very uh, clean but pumping kick. And you want a very smacking snare, like something for hip-hop, but maybe a little weirdness to it as well. So I'm going to lay in a drum pattern on my push real quick, and I'm not going to quantize it. Then I started looking for a basic sound that sounded very 8-bitty to me. Basically any sort of basic waveform will do, like a square wave or a saw wave. Pulse width modulation also sounds very nice on these type of sounds. Once you have a decent sound that has a simple video game vibe to it, start playing around with the chords. We want a non-diatonic progression, and what that means is we don't want something that stays in one key the whole time. We want something with um, augmented chords, stuff like that. That's about the best I can describe it music theory wise. Before you get this going, you may want to set up sidechain compression or you can do it afterwards. I chose to do it beforehand, that way I can feel out the vibe a little more. So I'm going to show you guys how to set up sidechain compression right now. A few moments later. Actually, no, I'm not going to. This isn't a tutorial on sidechain compression. I have a video up here if you want to learn how to do that. Okay, now that we have a chord progression and drum sound, let's uh, make a bass sound. So any sort of plucky sound will do, maybe a bass guitar. It just needs to sound funky. You want something funky that just kind of, we can play quickly. So absolutely no neural sounds allowed, no 808s allowed. So get them out of here. Let's go guys, get out of here. One by one, out of here guys. I have 808s, all my 808s, get out of here. Neural sounds too, out of here, out the door, go. So like a square bass will do, a saw bass, something filtered with an envelope. I'm pretty sure wavetable modulation is off limits as well. Don't quote me on that though. Okay, next we're going to play with the groove of our beat. This is very important for this type of music, especially if you didn't play it with too much swing earlier. We're going to click this little groove pull button right here. Then we're going to right click and we're going to browse groove library. And then there, there's a bunch of groove templates. You can use these NPC swing ones. I have my own personal template here. It's um, got step template and quintuplet swing in it. I have a video on that here as well. Go check that out. So you drag in your groove here. You're going to select all your sounds. Make sure you have your groups open as well. Otherwise, they won't select those. And then you're going to change this option down here to, to be one of the grooves that you just uh, dragged in. And once I do that, I'm going to play with the timing here in the, the groove pool. Because 100% is way too much. Probably closer to like 20% or something. It really depends on the song though, and how much your, your beat is already grooved. So yeah, your settings will vary. Okay, now for the arrangement. It's not really too complicated, just have an intro. Um, loop your beat for like 8 to 16 bars, and then fucking finish it right there. Wow, that beat came out a lot better than I thought it would. Let's compare it to an actual Sam I Am beat.
Okay, wow, I think we've reached a cease and desist level of imitation. Okay, that's it for this video. Have you guys ever made a Sam I Am type beat? Maybe you yourself are Sam I Am. If so, welcome to my channel. And I can't believe you watched this far. Leave a comment, I'd love to meet you. Try out the tips I had in this video and let me know if they helped any. I'm your host, Weaver Beats. I post music production videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I sprinkle production streams throughout the week here and there. Tune in next time when I chug a beer. Shout out to Felipe, thank you for watching my videos and glad they could help. Also a big shout out to my patrons, thank you so much for donating guys. Make sure to check out the third child, this is his song, I'll link his information down below.